Hey guys, it's Clarissa from Natural Beauty, and I'm going to show you guys how to get better sleep from drinking banana tea. As some of you guys may know, the banana itself has potassium, but potassium is good for the body. It helps your nerves to function and your muscles to contract. It also helps your heartbeat to stay regular. But what some of you guys might not know is that the peel of the banana is packed full of magnesium. Now, magnesium improves sleep because it plays an important role within your nervous system. It activates the mechanisms that quiets and calms you. It also may help to relieve anxiety, depression, and those things can interfere with sleep. So now that I have discussed the benefits of bananas, let me show you how I make banana tea. You want to first start out with some organic bananas that I have here. And you want to go ahead and rinse them off with a little bit of soap water. So I'm going to pop this open. I'm going to take these over to the sink. And you want to use soap water, just a little bit of soap in the water. And make sure you get all the soap off of the bananas before you start to process them. So I'm just washing the bananas off, guys. With we'll soap and water. Making sure you get the whole banana. And make sure you give it a good rinse to get all the soap off. Okay. Now that we have clean bananas, let me dry my hands. What you want to do is go ahead and cut the tops of the bananas off. And cut the ends off. Because you don't want any hard parts. Because that's going to take longer to boil and get soft. So now what you want to do is go ahead and peel your bananas. Now you can go ahead and eat the banana or you can go ahead and save it. So me and my family make smoothies a lot. So every day you'll find either me or one of my kids making a smoothie. So I take the bananas and I put it into a Ziploc bag and I put them into the freezer. So I'm going to finish pulling all of these and I'm going to put it in the Ziploc bag and freeze them. All right, now that I have them all peeled, what you want to do, if you only want to make a cup of tea, so one banana peel will be good for a cup of tea. So you just measure out how much water for the cup and pour it into your pot to boil the water. But I like to boil a lot at the same time because I keep it in the refrigerator and I drink a cup every night. So I have a bottle like this and I got this for Amazon. And I got two for like $15. I'll put a link in the description of the price of the bottle and where you can find it. So after you've done that, you want to take your banana leaves and put it in a pot of water. Now I've already boiled some earlier. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Here's the finished product, the tea. So what you want to do is boil your banana peels for about 15 to 20 minutes and you'll slowly see the color start changing. Once the color is to the consistency of tea, well, the color of tea, you know that the tea is ready. Now, after I finish boiling my tea, I like to let the peel steep for a while, maybe another 15 minutes, and that also gives it time to cool down. So now that we've done with that, I'm gonna go ahead, move this off to the side. And you're going to want to get a strainer. But before I strain, I'm going to take these peels out because it'll be easier to strain. Bring this bowl back over here. So you want to strain all of your peels out of the liquid. 
and put it into the trash. Like this. Because straining it would just make it easier to get into your container. Okay, so now that you've done that, I have another bowl here with a strainer. So I'm going to rest that up against there. And I'm going to pour all of that liquid through the strainer. You see how that's catching those little bits? Now, if you want, if you have like a cheesecloth or something, you can also use a cheesecloth. And that'll strain it out a lot better than with this would. So after I do that, I'm going to set this off to the side. I have this strainer, the well, funnel. And I'm going to use this funnel to funnel the tea inside of my container. But if you just want to get a cup of tea, you just go ahead and pour it in your cup. But since I like to drink mine every night before going to sleep, I just keep mine in the container. So I don't have to go through boiling it every night when I'm ready for it. And this also comes with a lid. See the container? So I'm just going to put a lid on it and set it off to the side. Now, some people like to use um, honey or cinnamon inside of the tea. You can do that as well to make it sweeter because um, the peel tends not to be sweet. But um, guys, I'm telling you, this recipe really works for me. I was kind of skeptical at first. But after about three days of drinking the tea every night, I really did notice a change in my sleeping. So I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, a like, and, subscri and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.